last season, I was going to end the show with a completely different episode. I was going to do like Chillers Part 3, which is long overdue. I'm still editing it, by the way. Um, and I was like, no, you know what? I got wind of an announcement that I thought had been announced. Uh, so, uh, so I was like, oh, I think they just announced like a new Venomverse series. So I was like, so I'll record a video on this. And then like a day or two later, I posted it. And then here I posted it the day before they announced the Venomverse uh, series that are coming out uh, because I made a video where I'm like, hey, let's go into the Venomverse and let's start exploring these other Venoms, um, you know, to lead up to the new series. Luckily, I edited out a part where I mentioned the new series um, because I still wasn't sure. And I think I did a Google search and I was like, I don't see any news on it. Maybe, you know, I'll just cut that out just to be safe. So luckily, I didn't spoil anything. <laughs> but uh, but I think the day after I post that video is when the news officially hit that there was more Venomverse content coming out. And so... That's what we're here to talk about today. Extreme Venomverse, uh, which is going to be part of the 35th anniversary of Venom. Uh, so that's very cool. And it's going to also be the event that officially kicks off the Summer of Symbiotes. It's going to come out around the same time as the Carnage story that we talked about in the last one with uh, 2099. But this is, uh, you know, a multiverse story, uh, much like Edge of Venomverse was and Venomverse. Um, so this is going to be now Extreme Venomverse. And it's going to bring in new versions of the character uh, sp spread throughout the multiverse, including a version where Eddie Brock is actually Spider-Man, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, we got Ryan North is going to work on this. Uh, Mirko Aldolfo is going to work on this. Lenardi uh, Romero is going to work on this. So there's a lot of cool things, including, uh, you know, Venom going to be, he's going to get reinterpreted as a samurai in an alternate universe. So that's really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, and so that's uh, that's the first series that's going to come out. It's going to be five issues. It's going to come out weekly. I think it comes out the week after Tar uh, Dark Genesis, which is the Carnage story with 2099. So that comes out May 3rd. This is going to come out May 10th, uh, so the day before my birthday. And, uh, and we're going to get a book every week, apparently, leading into what is going to be known as the Death of the Venomverse, which we'll get into in a second. But yeah, I just want to get my thoughts on this and show that cover art off because that cover is really cool. And just to talk about, you know, a Samurai Venom, uh, you know, to get that, uh, an Eddie Brock who's Spider-Man. And uh, and then also it says, we're gonna get a story that shows the Brock family like you've never seen them or thought you'd see them before. So uh, that could be interesting. It could be him and Anne and Dylan, and maybe they're like monsters. Like that could be interesting. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but uh, it says the, the Venom family or the Brock family specifically, not the Venom family. So uh, so I'm curious. You know, I liked Edge of Venomverse. That was just kind of fun, mindless fun by Colin Bunn and stuff and some other writers that did that. But then also the main book, which I really liked. And then we got like Venomized later and we got all these other things and it got introduced to the poisons. So I'm kind of interested to see what they do with this and, and, and where they take this miniseries. Uh, but for nothing else... We're going to cover between now and then, between now and May, we're going to get through all the other universe Venoms that we haven't covered so far and get them all out of the way so we're caught up so that when this series drops, we can talk about the new Venoms that get introduced in this series. So then moving on from there and let me know again what your thoughts are down below of this first series of Extreme Venomverse. I want to hear your thoughts on that for sure and we'll keep talking down there. And if there's any other information that pops up when I post this video, we can talk about it down in the comments for sure. Now, the summer of symbiotes is going to continue with the death of the venomverse and marvel put out a press release along with this cover so hopefully you're digging that cover really cool i think another homage cover if i'm not mistaken um and also follow i spy a symbiote i don't really see their you know post that much anymore um but i think i, I think they're still posting you know frenetically uh, so i'll put a link to their instagram down below they cover every piece of news that uh, is coming out so i know a lot of venom sites out there do but that's just the one I remember, like, just always being on top of it on Instagram, along with Leith Null and a couple of our other friends, Old Man Venom and stuff. Like, I see them post things, too, specifically artwork and stuff. But I Spy Symbiote will do, like, you know, toys and all kind of stuff, whether it's toys for kids, adults, like, it doesn't matter. They post everything. So I'll put a link to all three of those guys down below. Please check them out. Support other Venom content creators and channels. And, uh, you know, and send me some. If you see some that we haven't talked about on the show, send them my way. And, uh, you know, so I can check out their stuff as well. Um, so yeah, all right, so this series here, Venomverse, The Death of Venomverse. Venom and Carnage are currently busy with their own ongoing series by Al Ewing, Rom V, and everything. Uh, but uh, Eddie, Brock, and Dylan are sharing the Venom mantle with Eddie serving as a king in black of symbiotes. Venom is also tying into the Dark Web book, which we hate. Um, but as for Carnage, the sadistic symbiote is traveling across the Marvel Universe looking to forge a new weapon, possibly even his own necro sword. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so that's going to be uh, what's happening 
in, or that's been what's happening in the Carnage book. Uh, and there's two symbiote type, two Carnage type symbiotes in that. And there's also something with Deadpool that happened recently with Carnage. So we'll we'll make a video on that too. And maybe I'll share some of my footage from Midnight Suns from the Deadpool, uh, you know, DLC when I talk about that video. So maybe we'll do a different style video for that one. Uh, but Death of Venomverse though, is going to be bringing an end to everything. So we had the Edge of Venomverse series, and then we also had Venomverse after that, and then we'll get Extreme Venomverse, which will kind of be the, the third in this series, um, and then the Death of the Venomverse, which will bring it all to an end. And it looks like Carnage is part of it, and which is great, uh, but I'm curious to see what version of Carnage it is, if it if it's like the, the current modern Carnage that's in the current continuity that's going and looking for the Necrosword or trying to forge his own, um, and he has the Extreme Symbiote or Extreme Biote, I'm curious to see which version it is, but either way, um, with knowing very little about this, I can't get too excited, but I am interested in the concept and the fact that they're bringing an end to all these multiverse stuff, because that's something that Dan Slott came back to Spider-Man to do, is kind of end the, the Spider-Verse, and so now this is going to be the end of the Venomverse. So I'm glad they synced it up to do it at this time, and I hope it really is the end, because as much as I like multiverse stories, we get so many of them. And with them being the thing in the movies now, it's kind of like, all right, let's 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 uh, go back to basics with some of these comics since the movies are now reaching that level where they're doing multiverse stories. Um, so it, hearing the title Death of Venomverse, I hope it actually is. I know things don't always die in comics and stay dead, but I hope this is one of those times where it does <laughs> for sure. Um, but let me know what you think uh, you know, of this whole Venomverse thing. Are you glad they're bringing it back, even if it's to end it? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And what other things do you think they're going to announce for Summer of Symbiotes? I've heard people talking about the Maker probably returning um, you know, and picking up on the threads where Donny Cates left off. Who knows? Will Donny Cates write it? You know, I don't know. That would be uh, neat. I know a lot of people out there would love to see him come back to the, the Venom universe. So if he came back and did a mini series that tied you know up and wrapped up his loose ends with the maker, that could be cool. Or maybe he intentionally wrote it to end on a cliffhanger with the maker so that someone else could pick it up and take it and run with it. And and that could be the case too. So either way, I, I would I just want to see the maker again. So when I heard that rumor, I was like, I hope that's true actually, because I that was one of the things I liked the most about Donnie's run was including the alternate universe, ultimate Fantastic Four, Reed Richards as a villain. Uh, you know, I thought that was cool. So, uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts down below of the Venomverse stuff and the death of Venomverse, and we'll keep talking down there as always. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.